next book starts in uh, Place de Arts in Métier. It takes place in January of 1998. It's uh, cold and um, Amy gets a phone call from her partner, René Friant. It takes her to the smallest and oldest Chinatown in Paris. And um, a lot of things happen after that. I chose Arts and Métier because it was an area, the upper part of the Marais, the northern part near Square du Temple that I had never been to before. And so I started to explore. and. Um, I thought it was really fascinating and I discovered that the people here were from Wenzhou, which is different from the other three Chinatowns in Paris. And um, they sell wholesale luggage and um, fashion jewelry. And it was really interesting to see the mix. A lot of the buildings are 17th century Hotel Particulier. And one of them um, is, in, uh, is in one of the repute, either the oldest or second oldest house in Paris with the timbers and there's a faux noodle shop and a hair salon in there now. And I love the mix of the old and the new. A lot of the story takes place on Rue au Mer, which is the uh, cobbled um, 17th century street. There's gambling and uh, sometimes you can hear the the slap of the mahjong tiles. Um, what's, what's really interesting is the overlap to me of history. You know, you have these hotel particuliers which were built in the 17th century for the nobles from the Place des Vosges, and you have the 13th century, the Nicolas Flamel house, which is the other contender for the oldest house in Paris. And, um, and people have just adapted over the years in the different emigres who, who came to live in that section. And it also, of course, is built, all, built on top of the Templar Knights of Fortress. In this story, um, Amy learns new things about her family. She finds out secrets about her godfather, Morbier, the commissaire. We're in um, 1998, it's January, six months after Princess Diana's death in Paris. Um, still in the newspapers. We're still paying in francs. People can smoke in the cafes, unlike now. And there's kind of this World Cup fever and a lot of bashing of the French coach. And um, what else could we do? We can laugh. <laughs>